Compound inequalities. A compound inequality consists of two distinct inequalities joined by the word and or the word or. Let's look at what that involves. We've got two inequalities staring at you right now. One of them's in the red and one of them's in the green. The first inequality up here at the, at the top says x, whoops, there we go, x is greater than or equal to 8. The second inequality down here says x is less than or equal to 13. We want to combine those. So if we were to combine the two of them, we would take this 8 and take it straight down here on the number line. We would take the line straight down and connect it on the number line. And you see we have a part where it's red and green. Keyword and, red and green. So that's the union of the two lines. That's where everything is red and green. So this is what our graph looks like. We do not include the part that extends past the 8 or past the 13 because that's where it's only green or only red, and we want it to be red and green. Now, of course, your graph won't have colors like this, but you get the idea. Now, let's look at this one. This one, if we bring down the 13 and we bring down the line, you see there's no connection between the two of them. In this case, it, it is either green or red. Keyword or, either green or red. So this is what our graph would look like. We would have both of them on there, and you either choose green or you choose red. Or what that means is that my solution can come from the green or my solution can come from the red. Now let's go back to the previous slide. How would I write that? Well, when it's a between, it's very simple. You write the x, you write the less than symbol on each side of the x, and then you write the smaller number on the left and the bigger number on the right. And the way that you read this is 8 is less than x and less than 13. 8 is less than x and less than 13. Okay, on this one, if you remember, there was no connection. This was an or one. The or ones are even easier to write. On the or ones you write, in this case, it's x is less than or equal to 10. So we write x is less than or equal to 10. Then we write or x is greater than or equal to 13. So that's how you write an or statement. Let's try this one. This one, if you notice, they overlap. So if they overlap, that means it is a and inequality. So that means you're going to write an x in the middle. You're going to write the inequality sign, the less than sign on each side of it. On this side, it's an open circle. So if, since it's an open circle, that means it's not going to be a, the equal sign down here. On this side, it is a closed-in circle, so you put the equal or equal sign right there. Over here, 14 is our starting point, and on this side, it's about 8.5. So we write 8.5 is less than x and less than 14. Try another one. Once again, there's an overlap between the two of them, this space here in the middle. So this is going to be an and statement. So we have x in the middle. We put our less than sign on each side. We come over here and we put 14. And we come over here and we put the 9. We look and it's not colored in and it's not colored in. So we're through. We don't have to put the or equal sign down here on the bottom.
Okay, now there is no overlap on this one. There's a space in between, so that means it's going to be or. So we can write or here. Over here, it's going to be x is less than or equal to 10, or x is greater than, not or equal to, but just greater than 14. It's not too bad, is it? Graph and write a compound inequality that represents all real numbers that are greater than negative 2 and less than 6. Keyword right here, and that are greater than negative 2 and less than 6. So it says greater than negative 2. Where's negative 2? Here's negative 2, greater than negative 2. So that means it's going to go in this direction. Or less than 6. There's 6, and that means it's going to go that direction. So when this one goes, it will go this way until it reaches the 6. And this one goes this way until it reaches negative 2. So that's our graph of, of the uh, inequality up above. But now we, to write it, we write x is less than 6 is less than, I mean, is greater than negative 2. I right, graph and write a compound inequality that represents all real numbers that are greater than or equal to four, negative 4, keyword, and less than 6. So greater than or equal to negative 4. Here's negative 4, and it says or equal to. Greater than is to the right. And less than 6, open space, and goes to the left. So that means our graph goes from here to here. And to write our inequality, x less than, less than, it includes the negative 4, so we put that. And then negative 4 on this side and 6 on this side. All right, here we've got one that says all real numbers that are less than 0 or greater than or equal to 5. Keyword, or. Okay, numbers that are less than zero, less than is to the left, or greater than or equal to five, greater than or equal to five, greater than. So that's our graph, and the way you write it is real numbers that are less than zero, x is less than zero or x is greater than or equal to 5. All right, here's one, all real numbers that are, numbers that, it should be that, are less than or equal to 2 or greater than 6. So we say all real numbers that are less than or equal to 2, less than or equal to 2, oh, I didn't do a keyword, greater than, are less than or equal to 2 or greater than 6. So greater than 6 is right here, and it goes to the right, and then we write x is less than or equal to 2 or x is greater than 6. Okay, now you've got the graph. Now you need to write the inequality. When you see one like this, that's a between one. Anytime it's between, you're going to write the x in between two less than symbols. The number on the end here is negative 10. The number on the end here is negative 1. The 1 is open. The 10, negative 10 is closed, so that means you put the or equal right there. And you've written your inequality. I write a compound inequality for the graph below. Notice there's a split, so that means there's going to be or. So we write x is less than or equal to negative 9, or x is greater than negative 1. The negative 1 is not closed in, so you don't put the or equal to right there.